Hey yo, what's going on guys? So today I'll be showing you guys how you guys can become a god at GT5 online. So I'm going to go through a couple of things, how you guys can improve and get better at GT5 as loads of people want to get and improve like the skills and want to just get overall a better player. So I'll teach you guys some couple of things that I've learned while I'm playing GT5 and I can share with you guys so you guys can improve your skill. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys do, count me guys RPG 700 likes in this video. As you guys already sniped 600, let's RPG 700. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and RPG the subscribe button. We're getting close to 50k subscribers, so that's truly amazing. And let's get straight into today's video. And by the way, there's going to be timestamps um, in the description. So you guys can go straight to wherever you're looking for. Because I'm going to go through sniping. We're going to go through ARs and we're gonna go through some weapon organization and that and we're gonna go more things in between like in between those and you hope you guys enjoy the video let's get straight into the video all right so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is the sniper customization so if you do not have a um moc you won't be able to customize your sniper but if you do go inside and put what i put on because these are the best options they put on these options in my opinion are the best you guys can um at times get one shot so these can help out a lot but the liveries and that they don't help out but uh, just put on these if you do have an MOC but if you guys do not have an MOC just keep the normal heavy sniper with um, the advanced scope because that's the best scope to use but anyway that's the best option so let's go ahead and go to settings alright guys so the settings is your preference what you want to use so as you can see these are my settings these, uh, these are my settings that I've got used to and play the best that I guess and uh, for certain you guys can put these on and try out and see how you do so you can just pause it right here and just copy these but uh, make sure you guys to drive by control type to just fire so you shoot and for the display make sure you put the field of depth on off so that it doesn't go blurry and for the the view of first person make sure you put it all the way up and put all the other options to off all right so the outfit the best outfit you guys can make is just the all black simple outfit because uh most of the time when you're sniping you're far away from your opponent and if you bring a black outfit uh, mainly at the night time it'll help out because you're dark and you match your like your surrounding versus wearing a white top uh, while sniping you're gonna get sniped really easily mainly at the night time because they're gonna see the white top um, quite easily versus a something like a black outfit but pretty much i highly recommend just making an easy simple black outfit plus a bulletproof helmet can help you resist tons of bullets from like a machine gun or a sniper all right guys so let's talk about actually sniping so i highly recommend shooting the middle of your target so around the stomach area uh, that normally gives you a one shot and as you can see here, I got hit markers. So if you guys get a hit marker and you've already killed your opponent, highly recommend just killing yourself. So you spawn in with max health while your opponent has max health as well. So it's fair. Uh, a lot of people try to complain to me that I ruined the game by killing myself. But that's nothing bad. I can play however I like because it's my game. But anyways, uh, for sniping, if you guys can, try to um, put your sensitivity um, a little higher than usual. And then you'll be easier for you to um, drag scope as drag scope do normally give you a one shot. But as you can see here, um, I got a hit marker and once you do get a hit marker and you miss the second shot just go to your marksman's really fast and then just finish them because that's a really easy way of killing and as you can see here I zoom in like about halfway and then I zoom in again uh, that can help out a lot as well not zooming in all the way that's a really good tip and as you can see I was zooming in halfway and I got it like that really nice easy drag scope as you can see again I'm not zooming all the way up and I zoom in and zoom back out and then go in there and I get a shot go to my marksman and finish them off another very useful tip I can tell you guys is when you're zooming in try get the shot on them while zooming into the target as a lot of times as you can see right here I get the shot while zooming in it's really easy and once you do get the hit marker go ahead and end them with a marksman that's the fastest rifle or like sniper rifle and as you can see here kill yourself if they got a hit marker they're gonna spawn with full health you want full health as well so here's another kill while zooming in I'll slow this down for you again so as you can see i spawned in and then while i was zooming in i was moving my uh like a i was moving the white dot towards my target and i swiped him while zooming in and i got the one shot that's really useful tip you need guys need to try out and make sure you guys fast reload as you saw there i went to my special car and back to my sniper which is really easy um way to fast reload but as you can see here's another tip is when you um spawn in they normally spawn you backwards in the beach so just press your r3 button and you spin around really fast towards your target and you can get the kill really easily as you can see here i got the hit marker while zooming in then i'm just gonna go to my marksman's rifle as i missed like a couple of shots so i'm just gonna marksman's and just end my opponent but that's pretty much it use all these tips together and you become a really good sniper 
but anyway let's talk about ARs now for the AR there's tons of options you guys can use but in my opinion the first rifle uh, to use is the advanced rifle this is mainly overall one of the best rifles to use um, it has really good damage and for the I would use this one more mainly for the range um, with all the attachments on it also this has a really fast fire rate so it's really good for free aim as well and the second rifle is of course the special carbine so I highly recommend using all the attachments on this uh, rifle it's mainly I'd say um, use this one a close gun game like in a RNG or something and this rifle is my favorite rifle to use uh, I don't know it's just a really cool rifle to use but anyway let me show you some clips of me using it and how you guys can improve um, your gun game so guys the first thing I can tell you guys is make sure you have when you're doing an RNG make sure you have the field of view to um, the furthest away so you guys can see around each corner but anyway let me just tell you what I did in this clip how I got all three of these players really easily so make sure you guys have your aim to uh assisted aim full so you can switch to each opponent really fast by uh, by flicking the r3 button but as you can see i saw the first opponent i got him and then i realized i need to go on stealth mode so i pressed l3 and then i aimed onto the second opponent but he was behind the wall so i rolled second make sure you roll second each time so as you can see he just rolled so i roll and he went behind the wall once again but then he rolled again then i rolled again you know that's how it is and then i got the second target once i got him i flicked my r3 button to the third target and i got him down as well obviously trying to get headshots so i can get the opponent down fast as possible and rolling second so they don't get me as you can see my health was pretty much all the way up but anyways guys let me show you another example right here so i just ran and i just died here um, this guy luckily got me but when I spawned in I spawned in a really um, nice area so as you can see there's three players again so I flicked my R3 stick all the way to the right and I got all three of the targets really easily and fast look how fast this took it took like a couple of seconds to get all three of the targets down um, so the main thing is make sure you have the assisted aim full on if you don't know how to do that just go to your story mode and then go to settings and put on assisted aim full so you guys can just flick your R3 button move your aim to the next opponent so that's pretty easy to do it also makes it much faster to move to your next opponent so guys let me tell you guys how you guys can sidestep i know a lot of people want to know how to sidestep but as you can see this is the first example he spawned in we both spawned in i looked to the left and then i aimed back and i got him so first of all you're gonna have to roll first and then let the other opponent roll and then look to one of the sides and then aim back as you can see i did it right here it's really fast one i'll show you right here so i rolled first really easily obviously he's gonna roll second i look to the right and then aim back so yeah me doing that little turn uh, breaks his aim on me and i can get him really easily but anyways guys that's a little cool trick you guys can use to get kills without dying if you roll first but if you, you don't need to do it unless you roll first because you could just roll second and get the kill without doing a side step as side step does take much more skill to do so yeah guys hope you guys did enjoy the video it took kind of long to make this video i cut it short because i don't want to make it longer than 10 minutes i just want to keep it short and snappy i hope you guys enjoy i hope this can help out a lot if it does uh go ahead and drop a like that's um rpg 700 likes and if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and yeah check out my other videos in 10 seconds i mean what